Hey there, guys. So we're going to do the Hailstone Lab. Uh, we've also called this the Colette's Conjecture before. Colette's Conjecture states that if you pick any number, and if it's even, divide by 2. If it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1, and repeat this process long enough, eventually you will end up with a 1. And your friend, the algorithm is called the Colette's Conjecture. The series of numbers it produces is the Hailstone series, and that's what our program is about. So write a program that will ask the user for an integer variable from 1 to 1,000. The program should generate the Hailstone series for that number. The Hailstone series is an interesting sequence of numbers that can be calculated thusly. We've already set data. This process is repeated until a value of 1 is reached. It is theorized that every number will eventually end at 1. At the time of writing, it has been tested to be true for numbers up to 1048, but it has never been proven. Um, it's been done for larger numbers than that, maybe just when this person. Um, your program should print the Hailstone series for a particular number and the number of steps it took to reach each value of 1. Sample program wrote, shown below. So they inputted 12. 12 is even, divide by 2. 6 is even, divide by 2. 3 is odd times 3 plus 1, 10 is even, divide by 2, odd, jumps and down, 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 down. It took 9 steps to reach a value of 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Everything's labeled good. Um, advanced, find the maximum. Modify your code to find the maximum value that is generated from a Hellstone series. Okay, we can do that at the end. All right, I've got my skeleton, I've got my import set up. I will need to use my scanner, it's set up. Here we go. First thing I need to do is give my user some directions. Enter an integer, zero to 1,000. Um, we do know how to put in a check for this. We could prevent them from entering anything more, but we'll um, type whatever. Uh, int num equals scan dot next int. There we go. We have saved the value that we are generating. Now, we know we need to keep track of the number of steps. So let's make a variable for those. And we'll start at zero because we haven't done anything yet. And We'll come back to get the maximum later. Now, since we're looking for a condition, we don't know how many steps it's going to take every time. So a for loop is not as convenient for us as a while loop. So let's stick with while. While, what are we looking for? Well, we're waiting to make sure num is 1. So as long as it doesn't equal 1, we keep going. Okay? <coughs> All right. We're inside our loop. We know what's going on. Uh, we do need to go ahead and print the value once. And they have them in a column, so we'll go LN to mimic theirs. And we just want to list the value, so print num. Okay. Yeah, that works. And, yep, okay, so if, uh, do while would work as well, we can test it again, it, this is fine. All right, so if num, okay, even is the easy one to check, so mod 2 double equals 0, If that's the case, I want to take my number and I want to divide it by 2. Okay. Else, when it's odd, I want to multiply the number by 3 and add 1 and then save it right back into none. Okay. And that's it. Oh, hang on, we need to update our step value. Um, so, uh, 
step plus plus. Okay. Up steps. All right. We got that down. It's printing out each time, and then it ends at one, but that'll kick us out before we print again. So the last thing we need to do is make sure we print the one. just in case. And then we need our statement. It took concatenate steps, steps to reach one. Okay. There you go. There's the basic function for hailstone. We grab a value, we print it, we decide whether it's even and odd and act accordingly, and this keeps going until our value equals one. So now we need to add the maximum. So let's go ahead and set it. it max is negative one. We know that that's not gonna stick. We know it'll be replaced every time. That's perfectly fine. Um, okay, we plug in here, and then we just need a little quick check. Uh, let's see, where's the best place to put it? Yeah. I guess right here at the beginning, it's not going to, but then it kicks out early. So, okay, so let's do it after it, just in case. Um, if num is greater than max, max now equals num, we'll do that at the very end of the loop, and then right here, we'll grab another print statement, the maximum number was concatenate max, end. Let's give it a shot. You think it was 12 to practice with? Let's do the same thing. 12 is the same. Okay, numbers work good. Uh, need a little spacer there. Something to separate. It goes through here. I might use a spacer line after the one. Put in my exception handler there. And everything else looks good. All right, so let's try it one more time. Pick another number. Let's go 120. Separation, easy to read. Starting at 120. A little bit longer, but then we're back to the numbers we recognize. And it takes 20 steps. There you go. That's it. Having fun.